Hey everybody, I hope you are having a good day after Thanksgiving Day. I hope that you are eating up all your leftovers. Oh my goodness, isn't it fun when you don't have to cook for a whole day? <laughs> it's like a holiday all in itself. <laughs> I'm making some small passport size Midori um, traveler's notebooks as thank yous and as gifts for the holiday season and these are so much fun to make and super simple and you can do it with stuff that you got around the house so I thought we would um, we would look at this little project and show you guys how to do it and let you make some of your very own passport style Midori notebooks First thing that you're going to need is some of my favorite stuff in the whole wide world, and that is cereal box board. So you got some cereal box board here. The first thing that we want to do is we want to paint that. And I will show you how I paint it, because it's not really painting. It's more of a, um, <laughs> it's more of like a swoosh and scrape and that kind of thing. So what I do is put a little bit of paint on my cereal box board. Now this is graduate acrylic. My friend Joy gave this to me and I just really do like it and it's cerulean blue um, is the color. So what we're going to do is we're just going to swipe this onto the board and you can see you get a really nice rich color here. We also want to leave some of the board showing, so we don't want to paint through, and I'll show you how we kind of scrape a little bit of that off. Isn't that just pretty? Doesn't that just cheer you up? I know blue is supposed to be calming, but it is, um, it's also a very cheerful color for me. Um, I've got another board over here, so what I'm going to do is move that one and use some of the paint from my first board to kind of scrape over my second board here. Sorry guy in the hat. It's all in the name of art, dude. All right, and you do want to, I mean, if you, if you don't want to take this all the way to the edge, you don't have to, but if you do, then you've got some cool bookmarks to play with uh, from this process. So, woohoo, two for one. Two crafts for one. Okay, his eyeball looks really weird here. Let's <laughs> He's strange looking. All right, so we've got this done, and then we've got this board done. And I scraped off a little bit too much here, so I want to re scrape down this way. And don't worry about like the writing showing through because really that's. It's kind of what makes it super cool. All right. So we've got that done. And I can already tell that it's starting to draw. So I definitely kind of want to finish up here because it's kind of getting sticky. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. All right, so I'm going to stop right there for just a minute, let it dry for just a second, and while that's drying, I'll show you what we have on the inside of our Midori notebooks. And on the inside, we have two what are called inserts, okay? So those are just smaller notebooks that fit inside your cover notebook. And they look like this, and they just have plain white paper in them. This is a sweet little notebook to stick in your purse or stick in your bag. It's a perfect little place to make notes um, as you're traveling, um, you know, as you're walking around the neighborhood or whatever. I really do plan on doing a walking regimen and trying to get out more during the cold winter months because I really, 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 really don't like them. And I'm really, 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 really trying to appreciate the season because there is really a lot to appreciate in the season. Um, you know, the, I mean, even like the bareness of the trees and then when it snows and, you know, the barrenness of everything. And when you consider the barrenness of nature, then you consider what's going to happen in the spring, you know. So I'm trying to embrace the season a little bit more. Okay, our initial 
Uh, scraping with the credit card thing is looking like this now. It's not totally dry, but I can see that it is drying. The next step here is to, oh gosh, y'all, I grabbed the metallic. Hang on just a second. I got to get some white paint. Okay, I'm back. Um, sorry about that. I just grabbed the metallic. The white paint, this is what you're going to do, and this is fun, fun, fun. We are going to drop the paint onto the cereal box board. So, drop, 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 drop. All right, now let that hang out just a minute. And while that's hanging out, I'll just pick this one up and, and we'll put a few drops here. The trick is to kind of let this hang out for a minute. Midori Traveler Notebooks are, I don't know if you guys do a lot of planning, but they're very big in the planner world, like people who do bullet journaling or um, documented life journaling or things like that really tend to use a lot of the traveler style notebooks. This one is called a passport because it's about the size of a passport. This is eight by five and a half, the cover of it. And then when you have the little notebook inserts, the little notebook inserts are seven by five, the cover of them right here. And then the papers are cut six and three quarters by four and seven eighths. And I'll show you how those little notebooks are put together. The notebooks themselves are sweet little gifts. Uh, and I, I use these notebooks in my uh, flow style journals as, as just little premiums that I stick in the journal. So they're a lot of fun. Lots of people use them. All right, this has been hanging out for just a minute. We're going to scrape again, but this time we're not going to do this. We're going to go straight across. And isn't that fun? We can just get some cool stuff going on there. And we're not going to spend a lot of time with it. And we can still see the cereal box coming through. Isn't that pretty? All right, so we got that one all scraped up. It's not so much painting as it is scraping. And we'll do this one. There we go. All right, guys, now I gotta let this dry, so I'm gonna let this dry. And while it's drying, I will put together my little Midori insert notebooks. Be right back. Okay, guys, the covers are drying. I also painted the inside of our cereal box board, and I did that with the same, um, you know, just drop and smear kind of technique that I did on the outside of our Passport Midori cereal box notebook. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to make the inserts that go into our little notebook. And these are, the, the papers here are 7 by 5 that's the book cover, and the papers that go inside are 6 and 3 quarters by 7 and 3, 7, I'm sorry, 6 and 3 quarters by 4 and 7 eight. So that's the size of your paper. We're going to make a couple of these. And I'll show you how I do this. Different people do it different ways. And like I said, these notebooks themselves are just sweet. I mean, these are just cute little books to, uh, you know, to stick into a gift or a Christmas card or whatever. First thing we want to do, oh, uh, just a little hint, y'all. When you are, when you've cut your paper for your little notebook insert, what I do, I do five pages. And one, two, three, four, five, right? And then um, before I put the crease in them, I separate them. I do two and three. And I'll stack them like this. And then I do a crease. And then I crease two. So I crease three and then I crease two. And then I tuck these inside. And somehow or another, it just makes the edges a little bit straighter than trying to fold five pieces of paper in half. 
So then I just put the paper in here and kind of even it up with the cover. Just like that. I'm gonna grab a washcloth and then we're going to punch and bind the little notebook. The first punch that I do is in the middle or roundabouts and then about an inch here and an inch there. Really does not have to be very specific. You take a piece of embroidery floss and a needle and then you want your knots for this particular project to be on the inside of the book. So you start on the inside of the book. So you start here and then you're going to come up through your top hole and there we go. Pull this through. There we go. And then we're going to go through the bottom hole. Then we're going to come up back through the middle hole. And be sure that part of your floss is on one side, part of your floss is on the other side. And we'll go ahead and tie this just like that. And then you've got a super cool little notebook. And we'll trim our, trim our embroidery floss like this. All right, so there you go. So that is what it's going to, this is what you're going to put inside of your little Midori passport. It looks so sweet. All right, let's make one more. I've already got my papers folded for this one. And once you kind of get the hang of this, um, you know, it might be confusing the first couple times you try to do it, but once you get the hang of it, it's, it's easy peasy. All right, now I need another piece of floss. And, hmm. Here it is. I'll thread the needle. The knots are going on the inside. So we're going to start inside, go through the top hole and catch your paper. Go through the bottom hole and then go back up through the middle. Isn't this a pretty print? Cheryl sent this. I thought it was so pretty. Thank you, Cheryl. She just sent me a little package of goodies. There we go. And there we go. And we have our two notebooks ready to be bound inside our little Midori cover. All right, guys. I uh, am going to cut our covers, and then I'll be back, and we'll put this project together. Hey everybody, we are ready to put together our little Midori passport notebook and we've got our cereal box all um, all painted, you know, with our scraping, our uh, scraping paint uh, technique. <laughs> I should have a fancy name for that, but I just don't. Um, we scraped some paint onto some cereal box board and then I painted the inside just white using that same scraping technique. We're ready to put everything together now, y'all. The only thing that you have to remember is to not crease your spine. Do not crease the spine of these little books. They are made to have like a rounded spine. So I've already made my mark so I can start um, stringing my stretchy string into the notebook cover in order to hold my, um, my little um, notebook inserts. So just to be clear, this is the cover. These are the notebooks. This is a notebook cover and this is the notebook paper. That was very confusing to me when I first started making Midori's. I was like, what? 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 Okay, we've got some stretchy string here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the stretchy string. 
This is, I just measured um, the middle of this eight by five and a half piece of board. And then at the top, you come down about a half inch and then a half inch and just make two holes and do the same thing in the bottom. And then we just take our stretchy string, stick it through the middle hole. And we want to be sure that when we close our notebook, this string is going to hold everything in place. So we kind of take it around here. We kind of give it a tug at the bottom just to make sure it's going to hold everything. And then we loosen this from the from around our notebook cover. And then we're going to put one side of this through the first hole here. And this is just like stretchy string that I got off the, I got it at the craft store off the kids aisle. I like the kids aisle. You can find all kinds of cool stuff there. Cool crafting things. So we've gone through the first hole and now we are going through the second hole. So that's what it looks like there. Same thing here. I'll show you what this looks like. So we're going to go through the second hole first. I know that's a little confusing. And then we're going to pull. Now don't tug because you've got to have this loop right here. And then we're going to flip it over and put our stretchy, through, stretchy string <laughs> through the top hole. Sometimes you got to cut it, make it fit. There we go, just like that. And then we've got something that looks like this on the inside and looks like this on the outside. And then we're gonna pull these two sections together and we're gonna give it a tie, not a super tight tie. And don't tug on it too hard because you always want that loop on the outside, okay? Now we're ready to put in our first notebook so our first notebook, we're going to go to the middle, and we find that, find the middle of our first notebook, and we just slide it in. You notice it does fit really nicely and snugly. Now, we want to add a second notebook. So what we're going to do, and I've already done this, is we're going to measure, I don't, mm-hmm, might have enough to show you how I did this. Take some stretchy string and we're going to measure the cover of our second notebook and we see that it's about this long. We're going to double that and then we're going to leave some so we can make a tie in it. So when you're done, you should get something that just looks like that. It's very simple. We're going to take our second notebook and put those two the back cover of the first one, the front cover of the second one together. And then we're just, we just lash this in, just like that. And it's super simple. And there you go, guys. You've got a sweet little gift, um, you know, for the folks you work with or um, the post lady or the mailman or whoever you want to give. Just a little gift to this holiday season and I hope you guys enjoyed this and thanks for watching please do give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys really soon thanks for hanging out with me talk to you later bye